What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through how to add Steam Workshop mods to your Nitrato PC Daisy server. To get started, hop over to Nitrato.net, grab you a server. And to do this video today, I'll be using FileZilla FTP. So you're going to Google that, or I can put the link in the description. Download it for whatever platform you have. You will need this tool. Once you have FileZilla installed, go ahead and open that up. Run you through a couple things. Over here is where your server files are going to be. Over here is basically your general pathing of your PC. And then this is the subfolder within this. So like, see here I have the workshop from my DayZ folder. Here's all my PC mods that I got from the Steam Workshop down here. To connect our server, hmm, to connect our Nitrato server to the FileZilla, you're going to go up here to File, click Site Manager, and then over here, you're going to start a new one. This one is Skizzes from the Discord. Much appreciate you letting me borrow your server to do a demo. So start like that. And then you're going to open your Nitrato up. You're going to go to the dashboard of the Nitrato server that you're using. And all the way at the bottom on the left, you'll have FTP credentials, file transfer protocol. And that is what we're doing here. Simple enough, host name, host, username, user, password, etc. So copy all this information into here. Pay attention to the port number. I don't know if everyone's is the same or not. Then the username. And then the password. Simply click connect, give it a second to run through itself, and you will see your server files pop up over here on the right. So now that we have our Nitrato Daisy PC server, and we have it connected to a file transfer protocol setup, so we can transfer files back and forth, we need to go to the Steam Workshop, grab a mod. For this demonstration, I'm going to simply upload one of my own mods, Josie's M4 skins. Say that fast. It's got a couple retextures of some parts and whatnot, nothing special. But you're going to click subscribe to the selected mod that you want. It's going to download. Once it's downloaded, let's open our file transfer protocol. On this box here, locate your workshop folder, you're just gonna go down your normal path, your windows, your program, Steam, Steam apps, common, Daisy workshop. Then that's gonna open up what's in that folder. If you select a folder, it shows you what's in the folder down here, workshop folder right there. So we click it up here and it shows it down here. Go ahead and find the mod that you're going to be working with for this one. Like I said, Josie's M4 skins. And over here on your server side, open the standalone folder. And right in here is where we're going to put our mods. They'll be listed at the top. But for now, what we're going to do is have our mods on the left, the directory that we want the file to be uploaded to on the right. Right click the mod and click upload. You're going to put the entire folder on the mod. It's going to take a little second, do a little dance. Should pop up a little message down here in the bottom right when it's done to let you know that all files have been transferred. And once that's done, the entire mod has now been installed. We are not done yet. Mods are compressed 
binarized and signed with a key and you need the key to unlock the files so open the mod folder over here on the left some mods come with some helpful tidbits mine does the types extras and your trader jones config if you're going to be using that we'll get to that later but you'll see your keys folder over here for the mod and you'll see the keys folder over here for your server go ahead and open that keys folder open that keys folder right click the mod and click mm -hmm. upload risky business but I'm a drag and dropper myself I feel like this is a good time to show this you can also simply click it hold it and drag it it's gonna tell me to overwrite because I just put the same file on there but to give you the idea you can drag and drop this from anywhere if I want to put a picture whatever so now we have our key transferred in the keys folder of the server from the mod we have the entire mod uploaded and now we need to go to our Nitrato server, go to your general page of your server, scroll to the bottom, and this line is where you're going to add mods in. So you're going to add at, and then you're going to want the mod name. So open your folder, click once lightly. You can copy the name directly, come right over here, paste it in. If you're going to be adding more than one mod, you will put a semicolon in between them. You can also leave one on the tail, it doesn't hurt anything. Make sure you save those changes. And now we have a mod on our server. However, this mod came with some types entries and such. So we need to make sure we add those to our file. So in your file browser, go to your workshop folder. You may have to show hidden selection for your workshop folder to show up. But scroll down to wherever your mod is and open that folder and get the tidbits you need. We need the types for this example. We don't need this line. So delete that. Control A to select all, and then Control C will copy all those. Then you can open your file. You can do this in Notepad, Visual Studio Code, etc., and then simply upload the file. For this example, I'm just going to walk through the Nitrato pathing missions, selected map that you're working on. For these examples, there are types, so we need the DB folder and our types.xml file. Personally, I like to go all the way to the bottom to put my new stuff, just so I can keep official categorized, or vice versa. Come down here to the last entry. Make sure you don't go outside that main closing tag, so leave you a little gap there. Control V, and it'll paste all those types entries we just copied. Now we have all these new M4 parts in our types.xml file, and we should see them on our server. Make sure you click save to save the progress. And you're going to click restart the server, so the server will restart. And that will kick our mod into play. Now that our mod's installed and our server is restarted, we're going to open the launcher. If the launcher is working proper, you should simply be able to search for your server. And if after forever and a day the server doesn't come up because this is still broken, but thank God we got masks in the 1.2, you're going to simply go to your mods. You're going to have to manually select those mods. So Josie's M4s is what we were working with. So you're going to manually select that mod. So the mod is there. From there, you're going to open the server's tab. And notice that it's still not finding your server because this sucks. 
So you're going to have to direct connect using the IP of the server. You can simply click copy and now you can paste the IP into the server name or address. This is the address of it and then your port. This one's 23,000. Make sure you change the proper port and then click connect. This will directly connect you to your server and if you did everything correctly putting the mod folder into your server and transferring the key and putting the call line you shouldn't get any errors loading in. Now we are here in our server with our new M4 mod installed. If you have community online tools you will tap the Y key once you have toggled it on. Object spawner. Let's look up M4A1 and we have some options here. Click on those, spawn a couple in. See what we got. We got a pink paisley one here. By default, it does have the factory parts on it using the community online tools, but you will find all these other parts along your server or at your trader, however you set it up for your server. Well, that's going to be it for this one. How to install a basic mod and get the types installed so you can get in all these cool new items to play with. Hope you learned some shit. I'm out. Thank you.